Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be painting the monkey. So make sure you have your canvas out and ready. Um, scoop a little bit of your paint out onto your plate so you have that ready. Um, some sort of a vessel for water so you can clean your brushes. I have an assortment of sizes. And of course, you will need paper towel or napkins to dry your brushes or clean up any messes. So I'm gonna get started. Um, I'm gonna use a Sharpie. I just want to get this this little vine here outlined so I can paint over top of it. If I don't do it, I'm afraid that I won't be able to see the pencil. It still may be fine. I still might be able to see the pencil, but just to be on the safe side, taking a permanent black marky, marker, I recommend a Sharpie only because that's the only one that I know definitely does work. Um, otherwise, I don't promise that your marker won't bleed into the paint. So just to be on the safe side, make sure you have black permanent Sharpie. Um, we can do the little face too. Don't wanna lose those lines when we paint that part in. Um, maybe around the tail, just cause that's some small space in there. And we, this way we can be a little bit sloppy. I think I can get in those spaces just fine otherwise. So that's just so I can get a little sloppy and not be too particular around my edges there. So I'm gonna just mix up a little bit of a background color and I'm gonna fill in everything around the outside of my monkey. I'm gonna do like a very, very like light periwinkle color. So um, I'm gonna take a lot of white. I need a lot of this color. The background takes up a lot of the canvas, so make sure you have a decent sized pile. I'm gonna take a little bit of blue. Doesn't take much at all to tint it. I start with a little bit, you can always add more. It's easier to make it darker than it is to try to relighten it. Um, you'll end up using all of your white paint <clears throat> and you need it for other stuff. So maybe a little bit more blue. Just going to get it all stirred up. My yellow is creeping down my plate. I don't want yellow in there. It's hard to not have my paint. <laughs> I can ooze all over the place. Sorry. And then to make it a little bit on the purplish side, because I want the sky for some reason. I don't know. I'm feeling like a very light purple would be pretty. So a little bit more on the blue end. That's why I called it periwinkle. So just a little bit of red. That might have been too much, we'll see. Stir that in. Yeah, it's a little bit more on the lavender side. That's all right, I don't mind that, that's pretty. If you wanted a little bit more blue tone, just add a little bit more blue in. So it's up to you. Just getting it all stirred in. Just got it all over the side of my plate there. So I'm just gonna go in and just get this whole background area painted. Go all the way around my monkey. Be careful on the edges. Um, if you do get a little sloppy, it's okay because we're gonna be painting him brown. And that brown color will cover this light, like purpley blue color. Now it's on the canvas. It does look a little bit more blue to me. On my plate, it's looking kind of purpley. I like this, this is pretty. And you could just do a light blue. Um, it doesn't have to have this purple tint to it. Whatever you're feeling. It's the beauty of art. You can make it however you want. I'm gonna go thin over those lines where I'm gonna paint my little vine. Well, I'm, it's a nice thin even coat everywhere, but just being more mindful in that area so that I can still see those lines through my paint.
So this tail that I did the Sharpie, I am gonna kind of avoid it, but I'm not gonna be super careful on my edges because I did put that Sharpie on and I can be sloppy. Just because it's just such a small little area in there. If you have this on a larger size canvas, that space is probably bigger. So it's not as hard to get in the little gaps. Okay, I've got my whole background filled in around my monkey, and now I'm gonna work on my monkey. I'm gonna make a brown color for his, like the outside of his body. I'm gonna get my brush cleaned out, and to make brown, we've got this burnt orange color on our plate here. I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of black. So I get like this brown shade. Just make sure you mix up enough that's gonna fill in your whole monkey. We're not gonna do the belly or the face area. Just like around the outside of the head, the body part, I'll show you. So around the edge of the head, around the outside of the ears, the arm, and this body around in here, arms, legs, tail. You're probably going to want to use a smaller brush. So here I just have my brown stirred up there. And because he's kind of small, those spaces are little, I'm going to use a smaller brush to get into them. I'll just start right up here with his ear. And go right around the edge. And you can overlap onto your background a little bit. That helps um, make sure you don't have any canvas showing.
Just take your time, get your paint spread out nice and even, no globs. When you do the tail, if you did the Sharpie, just make sure you're getting that Sharpie line covered. You don't want that to show. You paint right over top of it. hand is cramping a little bit. It's tiny little spaces.
I'm just trying not to rest my hand in any wet paint. That's why I keep, <clears throat> I kind of rotate my canvas around so it's easiest for me to get at the spaces. There's this little paw, little hand here holding the banana. I'm sure you get that part. This little thumb. Now, if you want to go back in and give them another coat just to smooth out some of those brush strokes, feel free. Um, you probably want to make sure that it's good and dry before you go in because sometimes when the paint is a little tacky yet, that new fresh clean, like fresh wet layer that you put on will stick and pull off what you already did. And then you have like this like weird hole kind of thing going on in your canvas and then that's really hard to get covered it just sticks out like a sore thumb so next i'm going to do his face ears and little belly part and i'm going to use the same color except this time i'm going to stir in with quite a lot of white because i just want it just very 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 pale so a little bit of my color to stir it in with a lot of white so i have this very light brown And I'll just come in and do the insides of his ears. And feel free again to overlap a little just to make sure you get all the canvas covered. Belly, I'm gonna use a bigger brush. The face and the belly are nice big wide open spaces. It'll be a lot easier to get in there and get those filled with this bigger brush. Then go right over the eyes. We sharpie them so we can see. There's the nose. I didn't sharpie that. But I just painted over it just now and I can still see the pencil. You might not be able to see mine on video. I'm not sure. Sometimes kind of lose the details through video. But I can see it fine. Um, so don't worry, just so long as your paint is thin, go ahead and paint right over that. You just don't want thick, thick paint because then you won't be able to see the nose. But you can always just paint in your own nose. You don't have to really have just like mine, but you'll be fine. And this little belly. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the banana. And I'm gonna use yellow and a little white. Get my smallish brush cleaned out here. I'm gonna do the peel first. So just a little bit of white stirred in with some yellow. I'm gonna get the peel painted. Careful around his little hand. Is 
then for the fruit part, I'm gonna just, with my dirty brush that has yellow on it, stir that into a lot of white. You get this very, very pale, pale yellow. I'm gonna paint the fruit part. Then I'm just gonna take a little bit, kind of scrape off my brush, a little bit more yellow into my brighter yellow that I used for this peel part. I want it a little brighter, so I want this to show up. And right on the bottom of this part of the peel, I'm gonna put a swoop, a swoop on the bottom of that one. Can't really see it that well. Might have to make it a little bit darker. How about we just add a, just a teeny tiny touch of red into that. This will show up. Uh -huh. It's a little orangish. Just a little swoop and then a swoop down the side. There we go. I can see that. Um, next, let's do the vine with some leaves. We're going to mix up some green. I'll use my medium sized brush to do my mixing. So I'm gonna do the vine first. A little bit of blue with a lot of yellow. This nice green. And then add a little bit of white in too. Maybe a little bit darker, a little bit more blue. There we go. That looks good. So let me just kind of roll the extra off. I don't need that much on my brush. Let's get a little bit on the tip. And I'm just gonna go right over that line. I probably have wet paint I'll drag my hand through, but I'm just gonna come right over that line. I'm gonna stop at his little hand. And I'll do this other side this down, curve up and stop right at the hand. Now I'm gonna put in some leaves. Let's do a big one over here above his head. A little stem, you see the little stem? And then I'm just gonna do a great big leaf and just fill in the whole thing, this nice dark green. Do one on this side, in this area. Do a little stem. Nice big leaf, fill it in. And then one more. I'm just gonna have this one kind of go off the edge. There's my stem. And this one's just gonna go right off the edge of my canvas. Just like that. Oops, sorry, just knocked the table and shook you. So I'm gonna give that a chance to dry. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go in and do the face. I'm just gonna take some black paint and my skinny liner brush. I like to thin out my paint just a little. I dip it in water and then stir the water into the paint. Just make sure you don't get too much water. You don't want it to drip off your canvas. So if you hold your paint up like this and it drips you have too much too much water to stir in more paint just gonna go right over that sharpie line and i can see very well through the paint you want to get right on top of that because you don't want that showing underneath And I'm gonna fill in his nose. I'm gonna use a, my small brush with a square one instead. And get that nose filled in. Just with a little black. Just this little ovaly shape. Okay, so I'm gonna go back up to my vine. I'm gonna work on the leaves just a little bit more. And we should be about done. 
but I'm gonna just make my color very more yellowy. So a lot of yellow, I'm just gonna stir into a little bit of my green here. See how much more yellowy my color is? And I didn't use all the green, I just used this little side bit here, because I don't need that much. Um, and then just a nice big scoop of white stirred in as well. I've got this much lighter version of green. And with that, I'm gonna paint a little bit more on my leaves. I'm just gonna, on the bottom half, I'm gonna fill that in. Um, this one, how about I do the top? Let's change it up. I'm gonna do the top part of this one. And then this one that's coming off, I'll just do the top. So we got this, this. And let's add some veins. Um, I'm so my darker green here. I'm just gonna make that a little bit darker yet. Stir in more blue. And I'm gonna just go down the center of the leaf a little way. I don't wanna get my face smeared though. So, let's do this one. Well, no, this one. So I'm just gonna come down the center of it. Down into the light green, can't really see it. Can't see that at all. And I'm just gonna put some little veins. So they're just little dash marks through the leaf. So where the two colors meet, that's a little vein down the middle and then little dash marks across from each other. This one, I'm gonna just do a few. So there you have it. That is the monkey. Oh, how about we do, I did the, his little nose needs a shiny spot. So I'm just gonna use my skinny brush, a little bit of white paint, just right across the top of the nose, just a little shiny part. And I'm gonna sign my name. Since I have white on my brush, I'll just use white down here in the bottom. There, he's cute. I really like him. So when you guys finish, I'd like to see your finished work. Um, just take pictures and post to my Facebook page really nilly. I have a post pinned right at the top. You can just upload there and I can check them out. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.